Hey guys, welcome back to Michigan Great Outdoors. I know I've been away for a while, a couple weeks now I haven't made a video. Been a couple family issues, you know, kid in the hospital, wife in the hospital. Everybody's looking like they're gonna be good now and uh, work's been crazy too. So I'm sorry I've been away, um, but we're gonna get after it. We're gonna make some videos. We've got a lot of stuff coming up here in the next few weeks. Probably about 43, 44 days out till deer season. Total archery challenge next in two weeks. So I'll be there Saturday and Sunday. Gonna be doing some filming out there. You know, we'll see how it goes. I've never, you know, filmed on the mountain and then my wife just had her appendix taken out. So she was gonna do the filming. Hopefully it works out. But I wanted to touch base on this video is this is actually a viewer requested video. Somebody hit the comments below and they were like, hey, how are you gonna haul your Hawk mini sticks on your Hawk ultralight stand? And I thought that was a good video topic and I thought I'd like to cover it. So this is what I came up with and part of it's my design, part of it's not my design. And I'll get into the part that's not my design. I saw it actually on social media. When you buy these Hawk sticks, they come with these, these grommets, these suction cup grommets. And I saw a guy on Facebook actually mount them to the stand and you can actually stick the stick into the grommet. So once I'm done with this little intro, I'm gonna take you guys outside and I'll get you a better view where the, the, the lighting's better. But it actually works pretty well. So the other thing I use are these adjustable toggle uh, balls here. So I have one on the bottom and one on the top. And then I have this bungee that goes all the way around securing it. The problem is, is when you, when you cinch it down, these sticks wanna pull on the inside. They kinda twist. So I channeled my inner uh, traditional bow hunter and wilderness podcast, uh, Jason Sam Koyak. He's a Michigan boy. I love watching him. He's got a lot of great videos. He uses pool noodles for his uh, lone wolf setup. So I thought about using the pool noodles. We had a pool noodle laying around that was kind of chewed up and it works perfect and it really doesn't add any weight. So when you put the pool noodles in, it prevents this from wanting to slip on the inside. So without the pool noodles, these sticks would twist and uh, they were kind of rattly. This system right here doesn't really make any noise. I'm sure it can be perfected a little bit, maybe with some stealth strips, but I think it's pretty good. I mean, it's not really making any noise. So don't mind my uh, one bracket I'm missing on my hawk stick, hawk. They, uh, they shorted me a bracket and uh, they have not been responsive at all to try to get that replaced. But, you know, this is a viewer requested video. I really like doing stuff like this. So if you have any requests or comments or videos you want me to make, just comment down below and say, hey, you know, can you make a video on this? And if I can do it, I'll do it. If I can't, or if I don't have the product or I can't buy the product, then I, then I won't make it. But also, if you want to see viewer requested videos, you can go to Facebook, Michigan Great Outdoors on Facebook. You can uh, hit me up on there on the Messenger or you can go to Instagram at Michigan underscore great underscore outdoors. So yeah, let's go outside and uh, get a closer look and I'll show you guys exactly how I did this. Probably the most complicated part of this job is just finding a machine screw that's the right size. So I ended up using a 10 32nd machine screw I had laying around and then I just found the appropriate drill bit. You must make sure that you drill. When you drill your hole you have to go straight down. You can't go on an angle, you can't go off to the side, it has to be straight down. Really probably a drill press would be your best bet to make it you know, the best as possible. 
and then all I did on the back side was just put a uh, nylock nut so you can see here just a nylock nut with a washer Well, hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it. Appreciate all the support. It's getting late now. I've been doing a little shooting. I promise I'm going to get back to a more consistent release schedule now that hunting season's coming up. Hopefully, all my hospital trips are out of the way. And uh, just, you know, thanks for the support. If you haven't, click down, subscribe, like if you liked it. If not, that's okay too. Peace.